ก็ผมก็เจอฝรั่งคนนี้คนแรกก็คือชื่อโรเบิร์ตเขาชื่อโรเบิร์ตแล้วก็คือเขาแนะนําว่าถ้าเราอยากได้อะไรเขาจะซื้อให้เราก็ตอบกับเขาว่าโอเคตกลง For so many years, the men who are buying sex and it is predominantly men have never had any consequences really for their act. If you are exploiting a youth, someone that is young, then you are saying that you want someone that you can control, intimidate, create fear for, and dominate. You're not buying sex. You are buying the ability to rape a child. The perpetrators tend to be a large variety of individuals. You know, most people want to believe that uh, he's the, the creepy guy in the trench coat. And of course, he plays a role too. But we don't have enough creepy guys in trench coats to make this a multi-billion dollar industry. People think of the person, you know, pulling up in a van and like kidnapping him. And, and I'm not saying that doesn't happen. But a lot of times they, these, these people come with smiles and they're your friends and they're people you think that you have feelings for. Frequently, the, the people forcing our young people into commercial sex are family members. There were mothers, there were fathers, there were a lot of mothers' boyfriends, there were cousins. I think a big part of it is our culture. We live in a patriarchal culture. There is very much this cultural notion that men should have access to women and girls and boys' bodies whenever they want. I still don't want to do anything like that. I'm a lot of pressure. I'm a lot of pressure. Because we don't like this in this area. These are children. Pimps are selling children and you're buying them. It's available for them to do. Who's holding them accountable? คือเรื่องนี้ถือว่าเป็นเป็นเรื่องที่ใหญ่นะครับเพราะมันต้องอาศัยทุกภาคส่วนนะคือทั้งภาครัฐภาคเอกชนและภาคประชาชนนะครับต้องลุกขึ้นมานะครับต่อต้านคนที่ละเมิดเด็กเหล่านี้ I think what it comes down to is having stricter laws and penalties for johns and exploiters because as long as there's a demand there's a need and then there's an opportunity for someone to be exploited. The demand is important for me because if you can reduce the demand, then you'll have less pimps selling children. Oh, that happens around here, or that's something that happens. That, yes, this is happening, and this is happening in our schools. This is happening to your neighbors. This is happening to people all over, and it doesn't matter where they come from. I want people who are young to be more careful. 